Howdy everybody, today I'm doing deep dish pizza. It's kind of garlic knot bread deep dish pizza. It's got parmesan in it too, it's really good. Now if you look down here, <laughs> basically you're going to be using a parmesan, you know, the powder. You're going to be using garlic, you need four tablespoons of this, four tablespoons garlic, two tablespoons of any Italian seasoning you can get. And uh, basically what you're going to do first, I cooked up here four pounds of ground pork. I used some Italian seasoning, some garlic in it. And uh, I've already done one dish, so this is the remaining half. But um, pretty much you fry it up, strain out the grease, and then you're going to pour in two cans of any kind of your favorite uh, tomato sauce, marinara sauce, whatever it is. Uh, as you can tell here, I got a redneck band-aid on. It's kind of basically just toilet paper with duct tape around it, but it works. So, don't let that distract you. Let's get to the food. Um, once you get all this fried up, let it set a little while. And honestly, you can get this whole thing done and the time it takes you to order pizza and have it delivered. And it's really, really good, and you know what you're putting in it. And, and uh, you kind of know where your hands have been, so. Anyhow. Then you want to take you some biscuits. I like the butter flavor biscuits. If you don't do butter flavor biscuits, then use regular biscuits and dip them in melted butter. Okay? So here's what your biscuits look like. And you're going to take this. This is how it's going to make the knots. The, the garlic and Parmesan cheese knots. You're going to cut it in fours. Then the mixture that you already had with these three things. You're going to take that mixture you're going to get it all generously done so it's a little knot like that and stick it in the dish and you're going to do that with the rest till you get the whole dish filled up <laughs> let's get these last two little knots here and cram that in there and these things rise up when you cook them and the last one then you're going to take like I said um, I did a little more than I needed because I did two dishes of this but just um, go ahead on top of this you're going to just pour all your meat that you fried up, you strained it and you poured in your tomato sauces two cans again okay and get that in there and then just kind of spread it around get all the edges and everything you want to get it nice and covered up it's basically going to be like a pizza you can use ground beef if you want I like the flavor of the Italian pork but you can use whatever your heart desires it don't really matter just whatever tastes good to you even on your uh, spaghetti sauces or marinara sauce you use you can do a garlic one you can do a mushroom one just make this however you like it then on top of that, we have a two pound bag here, shredded mozzarella. Um, if you have any of this stuff left over, it's really good. Just kind of spread it on there. It's just garlic, Parmesan, Italian seasonings. That way you don't be wasting. And uh, gives it a little extra layer of flavor. So just kind of put that on there. And... Uh, and you get just some of these sliced pepperonis. You can get regular pepperonis, slice them thick as you want. I just buy them regular sliced. You're gonna take, you're gonna put about a pound of cheese. I use one pound, so this is another pound. You're gonna want to use a pound of cheese on this. If you don't like it as cheesy as I do, then by all means, you know, you can cut down on your cheese, but then just spread that cheese out. Get it where it's covered on everything, but not like over the edges, where it's kind of even. <clears throat> then you're going to take you some those little pepperonis I told you about. You just want to lay them across. I do four across on this thing. And then, you know, just going down the road. Another four. I'm going to get them. If you like anything else on here, you can throw onions on here, bell peppers, mushrooms, whatever you like on your pizza, basically. 
You can put as many of these or as little of these as you like. So that's pretty much how that goes. And if you see right over here, we're going to take one out now. So I'll move these here for a second so you can see what this will look like. But um, basically, you're going to set your oven at 350 for 20 minutes. That's all you need. 350 for 20 minutes. And when it comes out, oof, nice and hot. That's what it's going to look like. See the bottom of it? How the garlic knots up in there? That's what the top looks like. <laughs> Be very careful this thing is hot. But uh, basically you can just cut on into it. And just kind of scoop it out. See that right there? All those layers and that biscuits have risen up. Soak all the juices in them. Really good eating right there. And that's a good helping right there of it. So that's pretty much your deep dish pizza. Appreciate y'all watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.